The sandy beach is a harsh environment. It's characterized by crashing waves, the flow of tides, and coastal ocean currents in constant motion. These ecosystems are scattered along shores all over the world, and they form from sand being deposited due to waves and currents moving loose sediments ashore. Generally, this sand is eroded from inland rocks, it flows down rivers, then is deposited at the coast to become sandy beaches. Longshore currents generated by waves then pick up the sand from larger deposits and move it along the coast to form more beaches. The sand itself is primarily made up of quartz, along with other minerals, such as small pieces of shells and sea urchin spines. As a fauna, the sandy beach can be split up into four different zones, each with their own inhabitants. From the furthest inland zone to least, the dunes of the sandy beach are inhabited by snakes, opossums, tortoises, raccoons, and beetles. Next, the backshore zone is inhabited by amphipods and isopods. The intertidal zone is inhabited by sand mussels and mole crabs. And lastly, the region closest to sea, the surf zone, is inhabited by phytoplankton, zooplankton, pompano, mullets, sand sharks, and mollusks. This diverse ecosystem of the sandy beach creates a unique trophic ecology within its organisms. The sandy beach's nutrients come from decomposers and the waves washing in. The primary producers are microorganisms such as dinoflagellates and plankton. The primary consumers are organisms burrowed in the sand such as worms and mussels. Its secondary consumers are larger and more able-bodied organisms such as crabs and lobsters. The tertiary consumers that eat them are mainly fish such as eels and the quaternary consumer, the biggest predator of the ecosystem, are birds such as herons and seagulls. Some decomposers of the ecosystem include bacteria, fungi, and even hagfish. Sandy beaches are important because they act as buffers against waves and storms. They're great sources of entertainment and are home to the many organisms that have adapted to rely on its ecosystem. Its main source of pollution comes from urbanization and trash left behind by humans at the beach. Currently, beach cleanups and conservation efforts are two ways people are working to offset the issue. However, sandy beaches also face threats caused by global warming. Changes in water temperature and salinity cause acidification. The weakening of the shells of crabs, lobsters, and mussels inhabiting the ecosystem. Acidification endangers the livelihood of the organisms and disrupts their natural way of life. Lastly, sandy beaches also have the issue of coastal squeeze. Coastal squeeze is a phenomenon where beaches are shrinking due to urban development pushing outwards from inland and waves slash winds pushing it shorter inwards from sea. Thanks for watching.